Zombie games come in all shapes and sizes. Whether it be a basic zombie story or something extremely unique, there is honestly no shortage of zombie games out on the market. We are going to be talking about the zombie games that change the gaming space forever. Whether they be story games or just action games, here are the top 10 best zombie games of all time. We couldn't have a zombie game list without mentioning Plants vs Zombies. Yes, if you didn't play Plants vs Zombies before, you might be confused as to why it's on this list. It was one of the most influential games from the past 15 years. It was originally on game sites as a flash game, but it was eventually ported to mobile and then to consoles. The premise of the game is simple, keep the zombies from reaching your house. You need to plant plants that have different uses to eliminate the zombie threat. As you progress, you will need to put down more and more plants to defend the yard from the threat, and the game does get pretty difficult. There really isn't much else to the game than that. It's a game that's just fun to chill out and play. It is one of the oldest games on this list, and there's definitely nostalgia that keeps us going back, but it's definitely one of the most influential zombie games that's ever come out. Hunt Showdown is an extraction shooter that's filled with a ton of different creatures. Keep in mind that zombies are just one enemy type in this game, so it's not solely a zombie game. There are demon type enemies as well. The game itself is simple. You spawn in either by yourself or in a group of three and hunt down the main monsters. Along the way, you'll have to fight all types of zombies and monsters, all while other teams are trying to do the same thing. It's a PvPvE game that can be pretty challenging at times, and it's a great game if you have a team of people who are locked in and can hit their shots. Though the menu can be a bit confusing to get through, because there is an aspect of pay to win in it. You can spend real money to buy better gear, but the gear you have doesn't really make anyone better than anyone else. It's mainly your knowledge of the game world that helps you survive. Left 4 Dead 2 is another insanely influential zombie game that helped build out what a ton of zombie games are today. It was built on the Source engine, which is the same engine as Half-Life, Gary's Mod, and other games like that. The story was actually pretty good, and the gameplay still holds up today. You and three other players can team up and defeat the zombie hordes. There are a ton of different zombie types, so you will need to adapt and work together with your team to finish your missions. There are also a ton of difficulties to choose from, and it can get pretty challenging at times. If you want a newer experience by some of the people who made Left 4 Dead, Back for Blood is another great option for those who want something newer. There's a ton of content in both games that's totally worth playing even if you are by yourself. The other players will turn into bots so you won't be by yourself. Black Ops 3 Zombies is probably one of the best zombie experiences you can experience. Everyone knows about Call of Duty Zombies, whether you grew up playing it or if you recently started to play it. All the zombie modes are still fun to play to this day. But the most unique thing about Black Ops 3 Zombies is the fact that there are mods for it. Yes, there are mods for other zombie modes, but Black Ops 3 has the best mod support out of any Call of Duty. Keep in mind that the mods can only be played on PC, so if you are on console, we are sorry. There are so many maps to play and a ton of them have their own menus and cutscenes to go along with them. The BO3 modding community is absolutely huge and is definitely worth getting if you have a PC and you enjoy Call of Duty Zombies. There's honestly a million different things you can do, and it's all worth playing, alone or with your friends. Dead Island 2 is one of those sit back and relax zombie games that isn't particularly great in terms of storytelling. What is good about this game is the gameplay and gore system. Yes, some people might not enjoy gore in video games, and that's totally okay. But there is something satisfying about knocking a zombie's head into a pool or drop kicking a zombie off a tall building. This is the game that was supposed to come out back in 2014, but kept getting pushed back until it finally released in 2023. The game is in all platforms and it's totally worth it if you enjoy open world zombie games. You can get all sorts of weapons and explore a huge sandbox that lets you do whatever you want. It's a game that's worth playing if you wait for a sale. Paying full price for it might make you disappointed, since the story is something that we could skip and not really care about. But if you enjoy the combat and mechanics enough, it will make up for the lackluster story.
Days Gone is one of those zombie games that people either love or hate. For some reason, it was really hated when it first released, but that was because of the bugs and glitches it had when it launched. For what the game is now though, it is an amazing experience. It's a game about a man who is trying to find his wife in a zombie apocalypse. The main character and his brother go on a journey across the world to figure out what they need to do. The gameplay is also really cool since it's the first game that we played that has hordes of zombies bigger than any other zombie game to date. To take them out, you'll need to stock up on bombs, molotovs, and weapons, and you'll need to find locations that will make easy traps to set up. It is honestly one of the coolest zombie games you can play, and it's also on PC now. Sorry Xbox players, but it's only on PlayStation and PC. Black Mesa is literally a remake of the original Half-Life game. The original Half-Life is one of the most influential games out there, and the remake lives up to the hype. Not only are the graphics and textures fully rebuilt, but the levels are also expanded to fit the narrative. This remake was so good that Valve allowed them to sell it, and it totally shows with the sheer amount of time and effort put into it. If you have never played Half-Life before, you should definitely play Black Mesa instead, because it is a game full of zombies and all types of monsters. The story is also incredible, and the remake also has a ton of insane moments that you won't forget. Yes, the game still looks relatively older since it's made on the Source engine, but it is one of our favorite zombie games to date especially the redesigns of the sounds and weapons. Everything about it is perfect and totally worth your time. The Resident Evil 2 remake is in the top three for a reason. Yes, there is Resident Evil 4, which is also incredible, but we think the Resident Evil 2 might be a better zombie game. The zombies feel more like zombies and not villagers like in 4. The RE2 remake is probably one of our favorite games of all time and will go down in history as one of the best remakes of an old game. The game itself is very simple, but the way that the game world is like a giant puzzle that you need to work towards solving is the fun part. Yes, the boss fights aren't easy, but it is all a giant learning curve. The graphics are incredible and the acting of the characters is also amazing. It also has two different story variations that give the game a ton of replayability. The combat is also insanely satisfying and is totally worth playing. If you haven't played the RE2 remake, then you are really missing out. Dying Light is one of those games for us that we will always love. Back when we had a PS4 in 2013, we couldn't really afford too many AAA games, so we could play what we could. We saw that Dying Light had a demo on the PlayStation Store and decided to try it out. We were surprised at how much fun the game was, but the demo only had a 1 hour time limit, and this let you spend a full day and night in the game before you had to shut the game off. What we found out is that if we turn the game off right before the timer expired, we can just boot the game up again and the timer would just reset. We did this a ton of times and had a blast with the game. We eventually bought it and played through the whole thing, and it is one of those experiences we will never forget. The combat and parkour were nothing like any other game, and it's worth getting just for that. Yes, the story wasn't anything special, but everything else made up for it. If you haven't played Dying Light yet, we would highly recommend it. Last of Us Part 1 needs no introduction, especially for people on this channel. If you haven't experienced Last of Us yet, then you are really missing out. Last of Us is even on PC now, so there really shouldn't be a reason why you haven't played it yet. It's probably one of the most influential video games out there besides Dark Souls and other games that have started whole game genres. Last of Us has some of the most satisfying combat and the most amazing story. Yes, yeah, some people might think that the story isn't that good, but you really haven't experienced the game if you say that. The remake of the game added in the gore system from Last of Us Part 2 and is totally worth replaying only if you played the original. We don't want to say any more about the game since there are still people who haven't experienced it yet and we don't want to spoil anything for you. If you enjoy story games, then you will really enjoy Last of Us. We hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to give it a like. Also, consider subscribing if you enjoy our content. Every zombie game on this list is fun and worth playing, so make sure to check out at least some of the games we showed. Check out our Discord and gaming podcast where we talk about new games releasing and gaming news. We also have a bunch of new merch designs on our website if that also interests you. 
All links are in the description, and thanks for watching.